Hey guys, welcome back. Anyway, my pre-World War clock that I was working on, World War I, I misplaced or maybe it disappeared. I don't have all the videos on working on that clock. But if you do go to my, where my name is there and click on it, you'd be able to go to my channel and then go to the playlist and you'll see my clock videos there. And I think it's the first three clock videos that I have in line. I, I don't remember. But anyway, it will show you some of what I'd done to that clock because like I say, that clock did fall off the wall and had kind of a bit of damage to it to where I couldn't get it to cuckoo. I couldn't get it to tick or anything else. And there was adjustments I had to make to uh, get it going again. And besides that, on the rest of this video, I'm going to kind of explain a few things on the clock and also get it ready for packaging. So, sorry about the full view of the works and what I did to it. Uh, there were quite a few adjustments I had to make. Uh, there's, for example, up on top there's the wheel that would operate w once it's triggered would operate uh, the we'll, we'll say part of the cuckoo mechanism get to come on when it's supposed to that kind of stuff and that that I think that was age but that rod there's a single rod that sticks out of that wheel that turns and it was bent down quite a bit and so I had to straighten it up in order to get it to properly cuckoo on time instead of just all of a sudden start cuckooing and would, wouldn't shut off for three minutes or whatever or the weight drops to the floor so and there's also the wire that's in the front that gets messed up which I explained in one of the videos if you turn it counterclockwise you'll stretch the wire out and that'll stop it from cuckooing all together also so anyway, I hope you enjoy what video I have. Here we go. On this clock, this is the minute hand only. I don't have the hour hand on. But on this clock, you'd never want to take the minute hand and bring it around to try to reset the music or the cuckoo bird coming out for the counting the proper hours because across the front of the works there's a wire that's kind of got a hook on it and as the minute hand spins around it catches that and brings it up to trigger the cuckoo bird so if you're bringing this back around you're causing that wire to bend and stretch and it's just going to mess up the whole deal there now I don't have the proper weights on the weights are too small but it's enough to get to go the bird doesn't like coming out see he goes so far over to Now that's just a slight tug on, on the weights to make it uh, run properly or at the right speed and whatnot. But you'll notice when the cuckoo bird comes out, it does go up and down. Let's get a closer look. So I have this clock done as much as I can do. I was uh, here to just get the works running. 
operating inside and everything seems to be good I do the box has been put together kind of messed up a little bit not very square I didn't do it the, the I'm gonna guess the owner might have did it and so what I do is I take this level and using this I go on to the we'll call it the right side of the clock and I make sure it's level there and that will give me the ticking properly in which you can listen to it and see if it's uh, the beat is on a, a nice tick tock sound to it so I'm gonna box this clock up and get it ready for shipping and I'll kind of show you what I'm up up to to get this thing packed and hopefully well it's obvious it's gonna get there better as long as the mail department takes care of it uh, better than what it did when it got here the box actually came in, in a decent uh, shape and wasn't all beat up or anything else but you still want to protect these clocks when you ship them so you try to get them so they don't bounce around inside the package or inside the box just kind of make everything snug using newspaper or peanuts or whatever you got to try to secure that clock from moving around and also on the inside the coil now the one clock I'm shipping I forgot to do it but you want to put something behind a piece of paper behind uh, the gong so that way it doesn't rattle inside and make a bunch of noise uh, in which it's not gonna hurt it any but it's better just not letting it make a bunch of noise to give someone an idea of what's inside the box okay for getting it ready to ship I just have this cheap wire they use this I'm sure for a rebar uh, tying it together you can get it at any hardware store it's just junk wire it's easy to bend and what I do is I clip a piece off and then I'll go ahead and take the one end and just give it a, a wrap all that's there for is so I can slide this end here in through got the fuzz on me spider web anyways slide this in through the chains all of them and it'll stop here it won't be able to go any further now I just take this and I'll bend it clear over to a U shape and it'll sit in there perfectly for shipping as for the hands the hour hand like I told you it's wedge shaped on there and the hands I could get or can only get for some reason they have the smaller hole and I actually have to take the razor blade knife and carve inside to make the hole big enough that I can just slide it on over that shaft and not too big so that way it'll wedge over the shaft that's down here because it is a wedge shape on the minute hand the square hole that's in there is just a small thing like this and it needs a hole let's just pull that out of there this is what they sell you I can't find the ones that are meant for this clock so you can see we're actually have to carve it out in which this one I carved a little bit too big and this is just a hand that didn't really fit but I needed something to play with the clock and anyway I got it down to where it's nice and tight in there I had to shim this up with a couple of broken ends to hands in order to build that up then I have a brass piece in there because I need to when I put the nut on I need to make it snug and so right now things are pretty snug in there so she's ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and lock these doors shut and I have side doors I need to lock and then we'll pull the back off of it and put some paper in where the spring is 
Now just to let you know on this one side, there's the spring. On this one side, you unlock this, and because of the age of this works, if the hour hand, if you didn't want to move the hour hand, which is the easiest, uh, to get the onto the right, depending on how many times a bird cuckoos, and it's off, then you could actually trigger this bar here, and that would make the cock, clock cuckoo, and because it has this gear here, is what it's an old-fashioned style so it will continuously go around but it'll always do the next hour or uh, yeah the next hour or the half hour that's just the way this one's designed compared to your newer ones where you wouldn't be worrying as much about it taking this wire I want to catch it in each one of the chains, which I'm pulling them snug. I don't want them too loose in case the chains want to fall off. Some of these might be a little bit too snug like that minute hand there. You have to So it's a bit too tight maybe, but at least the chains aren't going to come undone. And there it's ready to wear. I don't have to worry about any of these coming off because they're all in there snug. And that's keeping it up so that way the chains will stay inside and where their proper spaces are. And what I'm going to do is all this chain I'll put in a Ziploc baggie, just drop it in, seal the one corner, and that keeps it from spreading all across the box and just becoming a mess when you go to pull it out. And like I say, here on this, the noise, I'm going to put paper up underneath this so it's quiet. And then I'm going to go ahead and install it back on the clock. So, so it'll be ready to go and not mess with this. Now, normally, some of these I'll go ahead and take the bellows and I'll pull them down in here and I'll lock them down. So all I have to do is, let's say, take a rubber band or whatever and clip it and they can just pop it off of there. But I'm not going to worry about that on this clock. Have a paper towel. And right here is the bottom of the clock. So I think what I'll do is just stuff this on here the best I can. Now the hammer will be in the way a little bit, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. It's stuck in the bottom of that clock. The hammer will move. Now this here, as you can see, I have a heck of a space. As you can see, I have a heck of a space from this side to this side, and that's because this was all put together not very well, not uh, clamped down as they glued it. And so this is good enough. Obviously, there's the hole that you put a bigger headed screw in the wall into a 2x4 and make it so the head catches inside that hole and kind of holds that clock semi snug to the wall so it doesn't want to rock itself out, the, the clock it, itself. Getting this chain all in the baggie and I'm not worried about the chain tangling up because once you get this hung on the wall if it doesn't untangle itself 
it's not that hard to untangle. What I'm more worried about is this chain being shipped, getting tangled up on the minute and hour hand or something else that might accidentally get ripped off and broke. So this here confines it to a smaller space. So I have a box that's, we'll call it fairly big. I wish it was bigger. But test it. I got plenty of depth. So that way I know I can get the clock in there. And for this way, it's not touching, but I'll definitely pack around it to snug it up to hold it into place. First, I'll go ahead and fill the bottom with crushed paper so that way it has something to be cushioned on and then pack from there. Film it, but that's okay. I filled this, packed all the clock in with paper. Got it all built up to where just the face was showing. I put bubble wrap over the top of it and I put on put on the top the beloved styrofoam peanuts. <laughs> I hope they enjoy them. Anyway, this clock is quiet and ready to be shipped. All I have to do is put the address and stuff on here. So now all I have to do is ship the clocks and be done with them. Anyway, next time, I'll see you, I hope. Don't forget to share and like and go ahead and leave a comment. Just let me know you were there. Anyway, we'll see you next time.